Hello and welcome to a brief demo of the MaxQ MaxTrace Navigator. I'm Matthew Scott, a Client Success Associate at MaxQ. My goal today is to provide you with a quick under 20 minute overview of the easy to use MaxTrace portal. Today we'll be covering two main topics, an overview of the sensors and devices as well as a walkthrough of the software to illustrate how easy it is to initiate, track, and generate reports for a shipment. We offer two sensors that are incorporated into the Max Trace tracking system, the B and the Beacon. The B is what is used to track the ambient temperature and the package's GPS location, while the Beacon is used to track the payload temperature of your package. Be sure to note the RCR number and the BLE number, as well as their respective barcodes, as these are what is used to link the devices to a shipment inside the portal. You can use the device's battery status button located on the top of the B and on the back of the beacon to ensure adequate battery level before placement to the shipper. Each MaxTrace powered intelligent shipper has a designated placement location for the B and the beacon. Designed and tested to provide stable connection and accurate data acquisition. Now let's see how this hardware can be traced through an easy to use MaxTrace software. There are four user profiles that can be used in the system. Admin, Ops, User, and Customer. In this demo, we'll be using the Ops profile. To log into the user portal and see your sign-in information, in the form below your login, select Modern View and then select Shipments from the drop-down menu, and then press Login. Once you're logged in, you will see the shipments dashboard. This dashboard will give you a quick status update of your ongoing and completed shipments. The drop down menu in the top left of your screen allows you to navigate between different pages, with the shipments page being the home base of operations. The most effective way to create a shipment is by first selecting a shipping template. To navigate to the templates page, select the templates tab in the side menu of the shipments page. Templates can be created by admin users or after the shipment has been created. Templates allow the user to repeatedly create shipments by preloading information such as name, description, location, and some other advanced shipment settings. An ops profile, as we are currently logged in as, cannot create new templates. However, they can edit existing templates. The ability to create templates resides within the admin user. To create a shipment, first travel to the shipments page. Once you are on the Shipments page, click on the Quick Add Shipments tab to start the process. Select an existing template to preload all the information from the template. Otherwise, manually enter the shipment's name, description, beginning location, and destination. You'll have to enter the scheduled departure and arrival times manually, even if you are using a template. The shipment will automatically start once it leaves the origin, so we suggest starting the shipment now upon creation of the shipment to ensure all data is recorded. To link a device to a shipment, go to Manage Devices. This window is where you'll add the B's information that you recorded earlier when packing out the shipment, as well as setting the B's reporting interval. Clicking Next will allow you to sync the beacon and the B and set its designated payload temperature thresholds. Selecting Next and then Finish to complete the device setup. The Advanced Configuration button will allow you to add things such as waypoints and text or email notifications. Once you have verified that all the information is correct, select Save Shipment to start the shipment. If this is a reoccurring shipment, you can save it as a template. At this point, the shipment has been created and is ready for departure. Once a shipment is created, you will be taken to the Shipments tab on the Shipments page. This is where you will see all ongoing and completed shipments. You can view ongoing shipments by selecting the name that is associated with that shipment. This will take you to the Shipments Detail page. 
Here, you can view the status of your shipment in near real time. You can see the package's elevation, ambient light, humidity, pressure, tilt, and most importantly, temperature. For a more detailed graph of any recorded data, click on the More Information button. The default display is the ambient B temperature. To view the payload temperature, click the graph next to the BLE number that you noted earlier. To change this to something like the payload light sensor, click the ambient tab above the graph. This can be used to tell when the box has been opened. Clicking on an individual point on any of the lines will show you the GPS location and the time that the data was recorded. An exclusive feature to the MaxTrace system is the transient thermal life predictor. MaxTrace provides the exclusive capability to see the thermal life and predict the time remaining of your shipment in near real time. A general overview of your shipment can be found by selecting the picture icon in the shipment's description and clicking Energy Remaining. Here, you can see the graph with two lines. One, the energy remaining in purple, and the other, the time remaining in blue. You can toggle different data sets on and off by selecting the name in the key. You can also hover your mouse over different data points for the specific value at that point. For a more detailed version of this report, click the arrow next to external summary. This will allow you to see the different information of your shipment. This window can be customized with the plus symbol in the top right and can be refreshed and kept open independent of the Rombi window. On the left side of the screen, you will see a quick snapshot of the issued time and the current location of the box. The middle panel shows you the payload temperature of the shipment when it last connected to the portal. Directly below is an estimated time till delivery along with the progress bar of the percentage of the journey covered. The exclusivity of the MaxTrace platform is the performance predictor, which predicts how many hours before the current shipment may encounter a potential incursion in real time. This, along with knowing the dynamic energy of the package, provides confidence to ease the uncertainty around potential failures. The notification section in the bottom right provides a quick list of alerts and notifications set up by the user to enable corrective actions such as a potential hibernation of the package to increase its thermal energy and prediction performance. The bottom left of the screen provides an interactive graphical representation of the actual ambient and payload temperatures. Overall, MaxTrace provides a never-before-available capability to provide data and confidence throughout the journey of the shipment from its initiation to its endpoint. With MaxTrace, you will always know before corrective action is needed. It also enables event-based automation and removes the reliance on manual inspection during the live shipment. Once a shipment reaches its destination, it will automatically complete the shipment. However, you also have the option to complete the shipment manually by going into Actions and clicking Complete Shipment. Once a shipment is completed, the B and the beacon will be returned to your inventory. This can be accessed by the B tab in your shipments page. This is where you will find all of the Bs and the beacons on your account. By scrolling through this table, you will see when they last connected to the portal, their battery life, and if they're currently on a shipment. To download your report, navigate to the Shipments page on the Shipments tab. From there, find your shipment in the Active or Completed Shipments table. Once a shipment is located, select the three dots on the left side of the shipment name and select Reports. The Shipment Report window will appear. Select Custom Report Template, if not already selected, and hit Generate. Refresh your screen and scroll to the right to the Report column. Click the Download icon to start the download of the PDF. Open the PDF to view your data. Thank you for watching this brief demo of the MaxQ MaxTrace Navigator. If you would like any more information regarding the MaxQ Intelligent Shipper or the MaxTrace system, email us at sales at or visit our website at packmaxq.com.